hypothesis testing, distribution free tests, the sign test. Now we can use the sign test to uh, test for population median or for um, uh, preference between two options. In this video we're going to focus on testing the population median. A teacher claimed that the median mark for a test was 63 marks. Uh, the students thought it was more than 63. So we're going to do a test based on uh, this context. H0, the population median, is 63. H1, the population median, is greater than 63. Quite clearly, a one-tailed test. These are the uh, scores for the students from their test. And what we're going to do here is compare every single data value with the population median of 63. So this first value is more than 63. So put a plus on top. 69 is more than 63. Put a plus. 40 is below 63. Put a minus. And so on. If there was any value here that was equal to 63, for example, let's say if that last one there was 63, another valid data value there, we would have just ignored it because it's not more than 63, it's not this, so you would just ignore it like it's not even there in the first place. So how many plus signs are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many minuses are there? 1, 2. How many of these all together? 8 plus 2 gives you 10. That's an important number. We're going to use this with the binomial tables. The test statistic is the smallest out of these two, which is 2. Here's the binomial table. 10 will be the number of trials. This value here is always 0 0.5. A common mistake is to take the significance level of the test and put it in here. And that's wrong. This value is always 0 0.5. Uh, reason being, um, if you select a value um, uh, at random, it's got a 50% chance of being more than the median, and it's got a 50% chance of being less than the median, because the median's right in the center. That's where that 0 0.5 comes from. So that never changes. It's always 0 0.5. So for this binomial distribution with 10 trials, so if we write it like this, then x can take any value between 0, including 0, all the way up to 10. Some of these values are in the critical region, and that's what we have to uh, look up next. We're using a 5% significance level. That was given to us. Now we go to the binomial tables, where n is 10. Here we are. Binomial tables, n is 10, p is 0 0.5. So we're looking at this column here. Let's make that a bit bigger here. Now some of these x values, which are the same x values that I have here, some of these will be in the critical region. And the way to decide which ones will be in the critical region is to focus on this probability. Okay, that probability is 0 0.05. Any probability here that's less than or equal to 0 0.05, that will show <coughs> the corresponding x value here will be in the critical region. So look at the first probability, that's below 0 0.05. So is the next one. But this one's not. None of these are. Only these two are below 0 0.05. So the one here is the critical value. And the critical region includes the 0 and the 1.
So the 0 and the 1, this is the critical region where you reject H0. And the rest of these are all in the acceptance region where you accept H0. Our test statistic is 2. So here's the test statistic right there. And clearly it's in the acceptance region. So we're going to accept H0. There is no significant evidence that the population median mark is greater than 63. So the students who were claiming that the median mark is more than 63 are wrong. The teacher is correct. We've accepted H0, so there's a possibility that a type 2 error was made. Within the context of the question, a type 2 error means we've accepted H0, we should have rejected H0 and concluded that the median actually was greater than 63.